We did a one day tour to JB and it was uh, Eaton, Shopperton and Walkerton and it was lots of fun. So come along with me as we explore JB together. Good morning from the KTM train. So this morning we are on an adventure. Okay, a one day trip. <laughs> yeah, sounds awesome. Okay, no, just kidding. Anyway, we are headed to JB for one day and gonna do some sightseeing and touristy stuff over there. So we managed to get tickets for the train and boy, customs clearance was pretty fast. So it's not like you're gonna be jammed and in fact after the train is like it's gonna be super fast, like probably a 5 minute ride. So let's sit back and relax on a 5 minute ride into JB. fast it was like less than five minutes but it's this friday so surprisingly the train was actually full i think like lots of people are coming with jamie today and you can see people coming with like luggages for staycation and stuff so okay we are going to check out some cafe or some restaurants for breakfast first okay i think we have some somewhere planned already so we are thinking of going to this place called restaurant huawei to try some traditional kaya toast and kopi. So today is going to be an eating and walking day. And this morning it was raining in Singapore, so it's a little cooling today, not so sunny. So luckily. While we are walking along the way to Jalan Wong Afuk, that is also a touristy area that most people will go because there's uh, cafes and food and there's also your famous Hyak Chu bakery there which we'll go check out later so let me just give you a bit of information about the train so we took the A35 KTM train and uh, we took the MRT from home all the way to Woodlands so it was like about an hour plus and we reached around 8 like 8 or 5 8 10 so we were basically like rushing to get the passport stamp because they were like rushing us to hurry up so okay anyway the train was like i said was very full so i guess there's a lot of people coming to jb for either the day or for the weekend and we are pretty excited today because this is like the first time that we are in jb since the borders open lah. so we did go to penang recently but jb first time here since covid so we're gonna be a fun day of exploring ahead and eating of course so pretty excited Restaurant Guangui now, we found our way here and Chipping ordered the light like, coffee. He got a big one and I got like my taping. Okay, you wouldn't believe the queue now, so luckily we were like 5 minutes early because now the queue is stretching until like the other side. So we got um, we are here to try the kaya toast and we also got a bowl of bao, so this is the first order of eating, then of course we'll be eating more later, so it's a day to gain some calories. Mm. The tapping is pretty good, milky and okay, I think drinks in Malaysia are definitely um, a bit sweeter than in Singapore so yeah, I'm not complaining because I like my tapping sweet and uh, nice tapping. This is the kaya toast, we got the kaya butter single toast. You can see the slice of butter inside. They have a double and a single but we got a single. Mm. The toast is so crisp and the kaya is pretty generous. Mm, goes pretty well with the butter. <laughs> the chicken is jumping around me, he uses his hands. <laughs> mm, has a very homey feel of your old school traditional kaya butter toast. No breakfast is complete without some soft boiled eggs. 
So Chibeng needs the soft boiled eggs. But I see the egg uh, is so cute. The shell is like so white. It's a very pale colored shell. Oh, but the egg looks yeah, it looks pretty good. It's pretty big egg as well. Here is the really nice eggs. Okay, the oat, oh, you just check out the yolk, it's like so orangey yellow. Mm. Oh, I love traditional kaya toast breakfast. Mm. Here comes the po local and we got it with Kaya, peanut and butter Just check out the crunchy bits of peanut Nestled under the melted butter Oh my god Let's dig into the po local mm. Okay, the, the cafe here is basically very generous with their filling so there's a lot of crunchy peanut and I think it really goes very well with the kaya and butter as well so just imagine it's like a mixture of like sweet and salty mm. and it doesn't fall out so the peanuts have already stuck onto the kaya and the butter mm. so this is also a very nice yummy tone It's a pretty satisfactory old school breakfast. So do you enjoy the breakfast? Yeah, the polo bun. Yeah, the polo bun was very nice, very soft and crispy at the same time. Okay, that's, so now what we're going to do is we're going to be walking around the Wong Afuk area and head to Jalan Tan Yok Mi later to check out some cafes. So I already saw a lot of people actually buying the Yap Ju banana cake. But the thing is, it's pretty early now. We buy the Yap Ju cake, we need to like carry it. So let me think about buying the box later. So adjacent to the Jalan Wong Afuk is basically Jalan Tan Hyok Mi. So that's where the um, Hyap Chu is located and also this is the cafe stretch. So and it's only like 9.40am in the morning but like there's a lot of cafes with already like long queues. So I guess everybody is up and about early on a Friday morning. Okay, so we are just gonna walk around. Oh, I see a Mary Brown. It's like, yeah, you didn't, you didn't try Mary Brown in Penang. Not that I'm gonna try today. La. There's too many cafes that is like over here for us to try. One day is not enough, man. has started so the rain got a bit heavier so we decided to walk into the city square mall to find some shelter first <clears throat> okay so actually i think in jb right there's a lot of things to do lah so one day is definitely not enough so maybe today we'll probably just explore this area then we'll come back another time to check out the new mid valley south key mall then if we're lucky maybe we can also try to stay at the Sangil's hotel there hmm idea ah. but in the meantime go seek some shelter in the city square mall first because <laughs> i guess the shop should be open now that it's about 10 a.m city square is a pretty huge mall and there's actually a decathlon here as well so we need to queue a bit of time to wait for the rain so just gonna wander around this mall first so basically here you can find all your international brands like h&m there's a lot of restaurants as well ah, so Familiar sight. So 
So there's a Decathlon here as well. Okay, but Decathlon prices in Malaysia are pretty similar to Singapore. Lah, so yeah, might as well just buy in Singapore. <laughs> but it's a pretty big outlet over here. It's like swimming, that's for swimming. One hour later. So we're having Penang food And you know like Chendo is a famous dessert that you need to have over here in Malaysia So this one is like Penang We had a very famous Penang, the Teochew Road Chendo over in Penang So we are here for the restaurant version And we ordered like the, the chili very spicy so We yeah. ordered the curry mi mm. And also the chee chong pan Oh my god I think the chili will be like Oh. Well, need to wash away the chili. Okay, let's taste the curry leaf first. Mm. The curry mee sauce, the gravy, okay, the soup. You can see that it's very milky, right? So it's not very spicy yet, but I think if I mix in the chili, it'll be like probably very spicy. Well, the, but the gravy is very nice. It's very lemak. <laughs> Tastes a bit like milk, very milky. Very good. And the chi chong pan are served with the very thick gravy. Mmm, very chewy. Oh, I miss Penang, so having a fix of Penang food today. <laughs> So the chendo has a lot of uh, this green jelly thingy and also the red color beans. But the price here of this chendo is uh, 80 ringgit. And when we went to the one at the Pinay Rai, the famous one along the road, that one was like 450 ringgit. So we are paying more premium for to sit the restaurant to eat compared to the other one where we went to uh, we bought from the street. Uh. But it tastes about the same, pretty similar. So this one is uh, the coconut milk is very thick. Uh. Mm. So we are done with our lunch and we took a grab over to Mid Valley South Key, which is one of the newer malls over here in uh, JB. And check it out, have not seen the word Sogo for very long because they are already closed in Singapore like very very long ago so this mall is like super new, super posh and there's a, I think this mall is actually more crowded than City Square so there's a lot of people actually coming here to shop wow uh, very nice at this mall so we're gonna spend the next one two hours walking around here and I think there's Nike here so we can go check out the Nike later yeah see any goodies okay but I doubt it's not the premium outlet so <laughs> So this mall right, basically they have all your all the usual brands that you can find like in most malls in Singapore as well Like Adidas, Ayora, Dio, uh, what else ah? Yeah, Bata, Giordano So you feel like you're walking in a Singapore mall There's also a hotel located over here which is like uh, St. Gills, Mid Valley South Key So later we'll see whether we can actually walk over to the hotel to take a look I think the, mall, the hotel is actually pretty nice because it's very new lah so I attempted to do a two day one night staycation over there but we'll see how found our way into the St. Gilles hotel lobby so St. Gilles is actually directly linked to the shopping mall and yeah the hotel is nice oh my god it's very nice and new okay 
Can we do a staycation here one day? <laughs> really nice hotel. Okay, but we can only see the lobby of course we're not guests, right? So this is all you'll get to see from my video here of the hotel. <laughs> Unless one day I really come back and do a staycation. We headed down to the basement and there's many many food stalls around here including a very huge grocer village grocer Actually this one looks familiar like, I think I saw this in Penang as well So plenty of food if you're gonna do a trip here or you're gonna stay in um, the Sangyo's hotel here because basically this mall has like everything This store has a very long queue, wow! So I guess the coffee must be pretty good if everybody is like queuing. Oh, if you notice, there's a lavender bakery over here. And basically we have one in Singapore as well in Jewel. Of course the prices here are much better, it's like bring it 3 something for one bun. Whereas in Singapore it's like 2 dollars $2 plus to 3 dollars for one bun. So definitely more worthy to come to get bread in Malaysia <laughs> if you stay nearby there is. restaurant selling yummy looking egg tarts like Hong Kong egg tarts right so we decided to try the restaurant is actually pretty crowded and I think like it's like lunchtime so a lot of people are having so this must be good wow it's hot it's like very big oh my god the egg tart is very nice it's very like the skin is very flaky okay typically I actually prefer the cookie crust but this one is actually not bad it's quite flaky and the custard is like what? Wow, it's really hot and very sweet, very nice. Okay, but it's quite hot now. You I cool off a bit. <laughs> Okay, we wanted to go to Coffee Coffee originally after we bought the stuff from um, Yakju Bakery but we decided to try this R&C roast and coffee place because it was like long queue this morning so now no queue right, come in and try their drinks Oh and we wanted another poor Luo Pao so today is very like an eating trip Have you eaten enough for the day or not? <laughs> not a lot, so I think you can actually eat more Okay, this coconut pokasai, right? It's coffee with a tinge of coconut milk. Oh, it's quite a rich, quite a thick. Okay, I don't really taste the coconut, it's slightly like. So it's like a Asian coffee version of like Latin coffee, coconut latte. But this is like with white coffee. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna mix up the tea though. This is like three layers. You can see that there's three layers literally, right? So I guess the bottom should actually be like the gula melaka sauce. Ooh, let's mix it up. Oh, I cannot dissolve one. Okay, I think you need to mix because basically you don't taste any. The sugar is all at the bottom. Okay, it needs a bit more mixing My knee is going to mix it up Today is literally an eating trip So we really ate a lot This is our second photo bun for the day And just check out the slab of butter 
Okay, I guess we probably need to spread out the butter, right? Okay, but oh, I'm just gonna yeah. cut a bit first. Oh, the bun is actually very crisp. It's very crispy. <coughs> and look, thick step of butter, man. <laughs> okay, not like many spread. flavors of polo bun. But I think you really need to spread out the butter, though. Because it's like all on one side. So, okay, let's spread. Mm. Well, the butter is good and this bun is really very, very crispy. So, I highly recommend this place. I guess it should be good, that's why like a lot of people and there was such queue. super long queue this morning. So, now there's no queue, right? But we're just having like afternoon tea. Ibang is trying to spread out the butter. So, after mixing the tea, right, you can see that the color has changed. You know, it's a single color tea. And definitely it's sweeter now because you know the sugar was all like okay. Okay, it's meant to be like you can just cut it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just holding it like this. Okay. Oh, it's not really very sweet now. Nice. Okay, bite. Okay, this is my heart. This is my heart. Must choke the smaller heart. Done with our tea break. And now it's almost time to go back to Singapore. So we are taking like the 4.35 p.m. train back. So did you enjoy your day out in JB? Yeah, quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, quite interesting and pretty fun because this is really the first time that we are here since COVID. La. So we did quite a lot of things today. We walked around the uh, Wong Afuk area, the Chan Hyok Ni area. And guess what? I managed to get some Hyok Ju banana cakes before we are going back. So anyway, we um, had a lot of good food today, like a lot of local food and wow, damn food now, okay, I'm not kidding. So we ate a lot of bread, pork lo pao and lots of carbs today, so we need to eat less for dinner tonight. Anyway, um, the train is actually a very good option to take if you want to avoid driving here and um, avoiding the jam. So there's no there's no jam for the train obviously, la, so, and the train ride is very fast, like 5 minutes. So it's only a couple of dollars, uh, sing dollars, la, so pretty worth it. So all in all, hope you guys enjoyed following me around JB today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.